Used to. They remove that shit now. Oh, swap. No, 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 no. Sorry, they didn't have. They don't have that. I, I well, they might have. I don't know. I haven't played. I didn't play Red Red Mage in um in Stormblood. But what they did used to have was they could give their MP to someone else. So like you could, they could uh, like a port. It's an ability where the por portion of their MP they could give it to like a healer. Um. But the thing is, is that they did a massive, like, MP change in Shadowbringers that kind of made that pointless. Uh, where every, every, everyone just has 10,000 MP, and is like, kind of unified MP ticks, and, like, I don't know, basically the, the MP costs of things for healers were kind of more equalized to where, like, basically, unless if you're resing 3,000 people, or just spamming nothing but your highest MP heal, you are not going to, and you and you press, uh, so if you're not doing those two things, and you pretty much press Lucid Dreaming on cooldown, you're never going to run out of MP. Like, you could see in, um, like when I was doing UCOB, I was running out of MP because, like, if I died, when, when I get res, you start with low MP, but even then, I could just pop an ether, pop living, uh, lucid dreaming, as whatever. And the only other time I'm kind of getting close to running out of MP is if I had to res a couple people. But other than that, like you're not really gonna run out of mana in 14. I don't remember if they removed it or not, but you know, it actually, Shadow Priest and Retail WoW, I, I, I don't remember if a recent patch removed it or not, but they had this, this spell where you could uh, swap your HP and MP, or sorry, no, not your MP, swap your HP with your target or something. Like, it'll... Um... I think it would, uh, sw like, give the lower health target the higher health target's HP. It would, like, swap it. So, like, you could use it on a tank and just kill it. <laughs> like, if you're low HP and you just press it on the tank, you could just kill them. <laughs> Though... If they didn't know it was coming, obviously. If they knew it was coming, they can, like, time a heal on themselves. And, you know. And then you get healed up by pressing your end button, and then they get healed up. Yeah. Is there really not a red mage one in the that I can't get at all? Uh, that's fucking sucks. <clears throat> Yeah, and I can't progress RV at all without uh, finishing this. Wait, so should I press this next one before I pull or nah? Wait, why third eye?
Ah, shit. I didn't do that fast enough. Wait, did it get stunned? I didn't see that kid.
So wait, if I sit here on this for too long, will it kick me out? You think or no? Like kind of like how long is it when I was dead? Don't know. Okay. Cause I hit meditate right before he died. So, um, so that it would be on cooldown. So that it, it would start. Yeah, no, I uh, I am letting him get, but I don't think I should wait three minutes though. I, I'm worried it will kick me out. But yeah, I am gonna let him get him some MP though. And I will I will watch the cutscene too. Just to kind of. Sixteen twenty left on the clock. Okay. Should I just open with a? Are they, are they're gonna have TP though, right? I shouldn't do a. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna do just a weapon skill, I think. And then hopefully that means that they will they will like just combo off of that, right? You can do the ability Yeah yeah, but just don't just don't press it again. Yeah. Just don't press another weapon still. Okay. I don't even want to do the stun one. I think I'll do an. Mm, wait, no. If I double weapon skill, won't that fuck up the thing, though? Maybe I stun first. No, I'm saying like if I want, I want to do the damage one too. Oh wait, I didn't press- fuck. I didn't press the other thing. Uh, I think we'll be okay though. Yeah. Holy shit. Oh my god. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> no, I knew Warrior sucked. I wasn't arguing that it was good, at least at that level. But, but like, I thought I could do it. 